Hello, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, welcome to the intermediate uh, module. So my name is uh, Wilmer Granados. I'm your teacher in church. I, I share my name in the WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, so uh, I will introduce myself. Uh, as you know, you know my name. I'm an English teacher. Uh, I'm working for Inglés Corporativo. Uh, I also work for a university. Um, in case is Gerardo Barrios University here in Sultan. Uh, also, I have a bachelor degree in English and I'm, uh, I'm taking a master's degree, okay? Um, some of my likes here is teaching English and also uh, I have like a hobby, uh, playing guitar and also playing piano. And uh, well, uh, one of my favorite sports are like playing basketball sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes I play basketball. Uh, well, I think that's all for me. Uh, I would like to know something about you. If you can share some details about you, uh, like where you live, what, what is your job, uh, why you, the, you decide to learn uh, English with English Corporativo, uh, what are your likes? So you decide what do you want to share uh, to everybody here. Um, another thing that I think is so important is that if you think that I need to explain something in Spanish, just let me know. I will switch into Spanish uh, and, and I will try to explain what I've been talking previously. Okay, so are you ready to uh, introduce yourself? Yes, no? If it is yes, just give a thumbs up in, in the uh, Zoom video conference. There you have different icons that you can use. Okay, excellent, Miss um, Argueta, very good. So you have like different icons there. So you can use it. If you have any questions, if you agree with something, if you disagree with something, so you can use all those emojis there. So we're going to start with Miss, Miss Argueta, you, uh, were the first one who said that was ready. So go ahead, Miss. Introduce yourself. Good evening. Good evening. My name, my name is Edith Targeta. I am 53 years old. Um, I live in San Salvador. I, I have a or a song and one grand song. Okay. Uh, Miss Argueta, why did you decide to learn English uh, with English Corporativo? Uh, Sorry. Ah, why did you decide to learn English with English Corporativo? What is the main reason for being learning here? I love, I love to speak English. I love the lingua, language. Okay. okay. And, and I need to find a new job. Okay, very good. Excellent, Miss. So, um, well, uh, most of you, uh, at least the ones that has uh, been learning here with Inglés Corporativo, know how how this works, how, how the platform works, and also uh, how all the 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 informations that is shared to you during. Uh, using the platform um, is it works for you. So uh, there you are going to find listening conversations, 
Uh, you are going to be developing your writing skills. You are going to be developing your reading skills. Um, and well, you're going to find uh, some vocabulary that's going to be helpful for you. Uh, I hope you can take advantage of all these uh, tools that English Corporativo offers to you and you can be uh, like taking the most important parts and, and putting in practice um, all your English skills here. We're going to be developing also activities um, uh, during the video conference that's going to be, sometimes you are going to be working on teams. Uh, some other times you are going to be working individually and then most of the time you are going to be working in pay because we're in payers, sorry, because uh, we're going to be developing speaking skills. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's listen to someone else, Mr. Uh, Merino. Can you hear me, sir? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wilbur Granado, you, you like. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Uh, okay, so, nice well, to meet you. Okay, sir. So, uh, introduce yourself. Tell us about you. Um, about about me. Um, yes, my name is Julio Cesar Marino Gonzalez. I live in in Santa Tecla. Um, my work, my work is uh, I I am person sales. Mm -hmm. Sell the the product of of for for houses and mm -hmm. eat and, and I I am all fifty fifteen five fifteen six all years years old okay um yes I uh, um. I I was I I was here is, is in, in English corporativo for I like it I like it in, in English I like it I love English yes oh, okay. I need uh, yes I need you uh, learning learning okay yes um yes all that's all okay very it's good all. okay very good. So um, I hope you can uh, well take advantage of this uh, of this course, and also you can be uh, like practicing your English, and also you can be uh, participating uh, participating sorry uh, in the different activities that we're going to be developing, sir. Uh, welcome, Mister uh, Merino. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to someone else. Uh, uh, let me see here in the list. Uh, Mr. Valdez, can you hear me, sir? Yes, good evening. Good evening, sir. So welcome to uh, this model. Uh, well, this space is for you to introduce yourself. You can tell us about uh, uh, you, your job, uh, some details, details that you want to share to us. Uh, I don't know, your likes. Uh, why do you decide to learn English with English Corporativo? So this is your space, sir. Thank you. Uh, your name, teacher, what is your name? Wilmer Granados. Thank you. Um, my name is Mario Valdez. Uh, I was born in, in San Miguel. I live in, in San Salvador. Uh, I work in construction and I learn in English for um, practice or for uh, um, it's a uh, it's important English uh, in uh, other uh, countries and other uh, position that of war and I'm really happy with uh, learning in English corporativo. Okay, very good. Excellent. That's all. Excellent. Okay, very good, sir. I hope you can uh, put in practice all your knowledge here. And also, we are going to be developing all the uh, four macro skills, okay? Speaking, reading, writing, and listening. So we are going to be developing all these. And 
eh, inglés corporativo is suffering all those uh, all those elements eh, for you eh, to, to improve. Okay. Thank so, you. Okay. Welcome, sir. Eh, Mr. Joel. Sir. Hi, hi. Hi. Good evening. Sir. Good night. Good evening. Um, my name is uh, Joel Erazo. I was born in Sonsonate. Uh, I live in, in Sonsonate. Uh, I am I am 30, 37 years old. Um, I am married. Uh, I am a, a son. Uh, it's a good pleasure. Uh, um, I I am uh, here. Uh, okay. I, I hope I wish uh, uh, give uh, the best uh, for me. Um, a English co corporation. Uh, it, it is. Um, I am very happy. Uh, I be with the, with with us. Okay, very good, sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. I'm happy too because uh, all of you, uh, well, in your case, you have the basis of English. You have um, you you know how to communicate in English, and that's so good because. Uh, here we are going to be developing all those things. Uh, we are going to be learning vocabulary, and that that's good. And I hope you can uh, enroll during this course, uh, and also that you can complete all the objectives here. Uh, and well, you can finish uh, the exercises in the platform. I will be explaining later. Uh, how we are going to be using the platform because uh, this is an important part of taking this model. But I will be explaining later after all your presentations. Uh, let's listen to Mr. Ticas. Can you hear me, sir? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, my name is Elvis Ticas. I, I live in Soyapango. My work is in La Constancia, uh, La Constancia, and I decide to learn English in English Corporativo because I want to practice my English. Okay, very good, excellent. So, and you are going to do it. We are going to be developing many activities here uh, for that purpose. Okay, welcome, sir. Thank you. So let's listen now to Miss Alferez. Good evening, Miss. Miss Alferez, can you hear us? Can you listen? Can you listen to me? Miss Hilma Elizabeth Alferez, are you there? Okay, I think she had some problems with internet connection or maybe with microphone. Okay, let's listen now to Miss uh, Argueta. Edith Argueta. Oh, you already Hi. participate, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, because I was. The thing is, I, I lost your screen in a moment, so I, I didn't notice. Sorry, miss. Uh, let's listen to Miss Menendez. Are you there? Miss Menendez, can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, good evening, Miss. Good evening. Um, my name is Silvia. Mm -hmm. I was born in Huachapan. Um, I live in Atikisaya. Um, I work in clothing factory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just that. Okay, let me ask you something. Why did you decide to learn English eh, in English Corporativo? Do you have any special reason for learning English? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy 
in English. Okay, very good. So, welcome, Miss. Uh, let's listen now to Mr. Cardona. Josue Omar, can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, well, this Good is evening, education. everybody. <laughs> okay, go ahead. My name is Josue Omar Cardona Lopez, and I, I am 22 years old. And I study in the Universidad de El Salvador. Um, I, my desire is learn more English because I, I love this language and I need to <laughs> work. And so, because for this, I want I learned this language with you. Okay, very good. So, and you say something important here. Um, English, as you know, has become uh, so important when we are going, when we uh, try to look for a job because English make us more competitive in, among other uh, people, okay? So, uh, because this, uh, this uh, area, okay, this uh, language, uh, give us more opportunities to get a, a job with, with any company that are requiring like, um, personnel for, for working, uh, mostly uh, internationally when you look for, for instance, um, English gives you the opportunity to work like in call centers, uh, if you know that at least the intermediate level, uh, and that's good uh, because uh, you are going to have like a good salary with them. Uh, and also you are going to be practicing your English and increasing uh, your skills and, and that's good. So, and also there are some other companies that uh, offers, you the, offers you different jobs, uh, but they require English. Okay, so as, as the main part. Um, Let's see now. Okay, welcome, sir, Mr. Cardona. Welcome. And uh, let's listen now to Mr. Romero. Can you listen to me? Me. Yes, Mr. Marvin. Marvin Romero. Okay. Good. Good evening. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I am Marvin Romero. I was born in San Martin. I am 28 years old. I am a financial auditor. Uh, I want to learn more English because is the favorite lang language of my wife. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. So, well, and also you are going to have the opportunity to practice your English with your wife, sir. Uh, you can ask her for words, you can ask her for uh, some grammar rules, and in that way you are going to be learning and improving your English skills. That's very good, okay? So, welcome, sir. Um, Thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, well, let's listen to uh, now Miss Ventura. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Lady Ventura. I was born San Miguel. Um, I live in San Salvador. I am married. I have two child children. And I am business administration, and um, I study in, in corporate English because I want to study in another country where the class is only in English, but it's necessary for me. Thank okay. you. Very good, excellent. So you have a good objective, and and I hope you can uh, achieve all that objective that you are. Uh, 
well focusing right now and you can finish uh, that career you want to complete okay welcome sir miss and um, i hope you can uh, improve all your english skills here uh, let's listen now to miss miss torres jamilet torres Hello, can you hear me, Miss Torres? Mm, okay. So let's move on and let's listen to Miss Velasquez, Elizabeth Velasquez. Can you listen to me? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Okay, welcome to uh, this model. Okay, uh, what we're doing here is introducing, well, in this case, you are introducing yourself uh, and you are sharing some uh, information about you, your legs, uh, your job, like where do you live, uh, or well, some general aspects about you and what else? Uh, why do you decide to learn English with Inglés Corporativo? What is your purpose for this uh, uh, model? So some, some things like that you can share to us if you want. So this is uh, your space right now. Okay, go ahead. My name is Elizabeth Velasco. Yes. All I am 26 years old. I am from Ciudad Delgado. I love English Corporativo. Okay, that's all. That's all. Okay, I think yes, right. So welcome, Miss Velasquez. Um, and I hope you can uh, take advantage of this model and learn and improve your uh, skills in English. It, let's listen now to Mr. Reyes. Hi, man, Antonio. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Okay. My name is, is Jaime Antonio Reyes Fuentes. I was born in Quetzaltepec City. I am an accountant. Um, I, am for, I am 44 years old. And I work in the San Salvador City. And my purpose of studying this school is to improve his speech to and understand better my listening. Okay, very good. Oh, yeah. teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. And I hope you can achieve yeah. that, that objective that you have for this uh, course. Okay, welcome, sir. Uh, let's listen now to Mr. Uh, Mr. Rosa, Modesto Rosa. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. My name is Modesto Antonio Rosa. I am 21 years old. I, I live in Tenancingo. Um, I study in University of Salvador. Um, my favorite hobby is playing basketball. Okay. I do study in this because the English is very important for me, and that's it. Okay, very good, excellent, sir, excellent. Uh, and welcome to this course, uh, and I hope you can take um, 
uh, advantage of all topics that we're going to be developing here in Les Operativo. Uh, let's listen to Ms. Castillo. Uh, Ms. Castillo, do you already participate? Yes or not? No, no, no teacher. You haven't. Okay, very good. So this is a space for you. Go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good evening. My name is Jan C. Castillo. I am, uh, I am, I was born in San Salvador. I am, I am, uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, I am a teacher, uh, a social study teacher. Uh, in the afternoon, I jump in the museum in San Salvador. I am um, 40, 49 years old. And uh, I, I need to learn English uh, for open opportunities. Okay, very good, excellent. I hope you can achieve that purpose, means. And uh, well, welcome to this Thank English you, environment because here we're going to be working a lot with exercises uh, about listening, about speaking, writing, reading, and some other exercises and activities that we're going to be developing for improving vocabulary and some other uh, aspects of English. So welcome, welcome. Uh, well, let's see now to, uh, let's listen to Mr. Guevara. Johnny Guevara, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Uh, thank you. I am, my, my, my name is Johnny Alexander Guevara Campos. I live in Ilopango. I am 41 years. Uh, I like learn English in English corporativo. For easy of schedule, and because I do not have to pay anything. Also, because I like the way of teaching. And this learn English uh, is very important. Uh, for the communication, the uh, soul. Okay, very good. That's all. Okay, very good, sir, and welcome to um, this model. I hope you can learn uh, about English. I hope you can improve your vocabulary, your listening skills, your speaking skills, uh, your writing, reading. So I hope you can uh, take advantage of this course and, and all the tools that English Corporative is providing to you. Um, let's listen now to, let me see here, Mr. Perez, Ruben Perez. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, sir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ruben Perez. I have a uh, 29 years old. Um, I live in San Salvador. I work as an accounting assistant. Um, um, I really like that language and I want to learn it for self improvement. Okay. And that corporate and and thanks corporate English for giving us this opportunity. Okay. And thanks to you, sir, because uh, you are the most important part here in this learning process, because um, without you, this can be a well, nothing because you are the ones guys uh, that uh, need 
um, and and I hope you can take advantage and uh, and I hope you can uh, develop those skills you have because you have it. I'm seeing that everybody manage English. I, I seen that everybody speak and listen English and can understand uh, well all the things that we are um, expressing and sharing here in this uh, video conference. Uh, well, guys, uh, I'm so proud of you that you can take part of this process. So uh, welcome to everybody. I, I'm seeing them. There are some others that uh, already joined uh, to the video conference. And let's listen to Miss um, Jacqueline. Are you there? Jacqueline Cabezas? Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good evening, morning. Miss. Good evening, Miss. My name is Jacqueline Cabezas. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I work in, I like in San Salvador. I work in San Salvador. Okay. That's all? Yes. Okay, very good. So welcome, Ms. Eh, Cabezas. Uh, let's see now to Stefania. Ms. Stefania Martinez. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? No. Um, Miss Janita. Miss Diaz. Are you there? No, Mr. Contreras. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. My name is Alejandro Contreras. I work solid waste collection. Uh, I live in uh, Ciudad del Cabo. Disculpe, teacher, que estoy un poco afónico. Okay, don't worry. Pero, digo, digo. Eh, uh, I am a 30 year old. I am in pleasure to start the module with you. Uh, I still have difficulty speaking English, uh, but I am happy to study incorporating English. Okay, sir. Well, welcome to uh, English Corporativo, and I hope you can develop uh, your speaking skills. Um, as you said, but we are going to be working on some exercises that are going to help you to uh, improve and also to give you more vocabulary. And uh, I hope you can take advantage of the platform too, because there are some, uh, some resources there that are so helpful for everybody here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Um, well, I don't know if there is someone missing because I'm seeing a lot of you, but I, 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 I don't know if some of you have already participated or not. If not, please uh, let me know right now. Is anyone else missing? Hello? Nobody? Good night, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Welcome. The, my name is Jamila Torres. I'm live in Ciudad Delgado. I am 27 years old. My profession is social worker. Um, worker is the mayor of, of Cuscatancingo. I study English for opportunity for profession. Okay, very good. And I hope you can uh, take advantage of the of this uh, model, and also you can uh, 
well, use this model to, in order to, for the purpose you want, okay? Uh, as you know, uh, here in Inglés Corporativo, uh, we are going to help you to uh, improve those skills. And, and as I said before, guys, you have a good level of English because you can understand also, you can express yourself uh, in the way you are doing. Uh, we're going to be working those skills more than, more than uh, that uh, you can some during, uh, I mean, in, in the groups that we're going to be forming or, or, and also in the activities that we're going to be uh, working individually and also the activities that you are going to be working on the platform. Uh, just I want to ask you, there, is there anyone else missing? Uh, I don't know. If not, I'm going to share to you the uh, platform that we had for studying English at Inglés Corporativo. Is anyone else missing? No? Yes? I think no, right? So I'm going to share to you right now my screen and I will explain in uh, how to use how to use um, a, the models and how to use the platform and how we are going to be developing these uh, topics that we have for pre-intermediate model one. Okay, guys. Uh, you see in your screen. I don't know if you can if you can check uh, your screens. There you are going to find a by different sections. I don't know if you can see my screen, the ones that I'm sharing right now. Yes, I can see. Okay, excellent. There you are going to find uh, five different sections. Uh, in each of the sections in, in the model, in the pre-intermediate model, um, we're going to find some exercises. Um, well, we have section one, the topic for it is Please call me Beth. And the section number two is, how do you spend your day? Um, after we finish section three and the topic, how much is it? We are going to be developing the midterm exam. Uh, the midterm exam is uh, or has been taken from uh, section number one, section number two, and section number three. Um, it's supposed or I hope we can complete the midterm exam at the end of the uh, second week. This means uh, the following, okay? The one, the, the following week that we are taking classes from Monday to Thursday. So I think for the next Thursday, not this one, the other one, um, we are going to be finishing section number three. Yeah, I mean, section number three and the midterm exam uh, that also have like five different sections uh, with different exercises. Uh, after we finish that, we're going to move on in section number four and section number five. At the end of, of section number five, uh, we're going to find the final exam. There, we're going to find uh, four different uh, activities okay, that has been, take, has been taken also from section one to section number five and topic that we're going to be developing in section number five that is called tell me about your family. All those topics uh, are the ones that we are going to be working on. Um, in the model, you, uh, you can uh, click on the topic and there we are going to find each of the lesson that we are going to be discussing during this week. And we're going to find always the lesson objective. And for you, in this case, you are going to have the lesson objective in English. And also you are going to find the lesson objective in Spanish. You have both. English and Spanish translation. Um, the lesson objective give us an idea of what we are going to do in the lesson. 
uh, what we're going to learn in this case, in the video that we're going to be watching for each of the lessons that has been proposed for you. After we complete uh, watching uh, the video, we're going to be developing some exercises. Uh, and this is something uh, that I consider important because in this way, you are going to approve this model. Um, at the end of some of the lessons, you are going to find a part that it says knowledge check. You, if you click on, on, on the icon there, that is called knowledge check, you are, you are going to find different exercises. In order to uh, get your diploma and also to approve this model, you need at least the 80% of all the exercises completed, okay? So that's mean these exercises uh, that we have for each of the week has to sum up um, the 80% uh, of this board, okay? Each of it has like different, uh, different points. For instance, in, in these sections, if we click on send, we are going to find that this one, he, it has different points uh, for just for this exercise. Um, so, at the end, you are going to go to the, the window that it says Progreso, okay? You, if you click on it, you are going to find a chart. If you notice here, it says pass 80%. That's mean that you need, a, and well, you are going to find here week number one, with number, I mean, a section number one, section number two, section number three, section number four, and section number five. Okay, each of it, it has like different phone duration um, and you need the 80% of it. At the end, you are going to have like the homework average and the homework average is going to be taken for the final result. In this case, it is the total of the homework average, the midterm, and also the final exam those three elements has to sum up the 80% of the course. If you do not, do not complete the 80%, uh, so sorry for you guys, but you are going to fail, okay? Okay, okay so guys, in, um, in the section number one, as I said before, there are some parts that are called a knowledge check. Yes? So, if you complete the, uh, the exercises here, like this, um, and you fail in each of the sentences here, uh, guys, uh, you are going to have the opportunity to uh, try it again to complete the exercise. And you fail in the second try, you are going to find another one. And if you fail that one, you are going to find another one. And you, if you fail that one, you are going to find another one. That means you have an unlimited uh, tries for developing each of the exercise. You, are, you can uh, repeat it once, uh, once again and again and again and again uh, till you get the 100% of each of the exercises. So do not worry if you fail uh, the first time. You can do it in the second one, in the third one, in the fourth one, in the fifth one. You, uh, you can try it as many times as you want. Okay, do not worry. That's happened for the homeworks, in this case, for the knowledge check, okay? And that's happened to you for the midterm exam, 
in the final exam too, okay? Um, do you, I don't know if you have any questions uh, till this point. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No. Yes, no? No, teacher. Okay, very good. So, I need to explain explain uh, something else to you. Okay. First, um, uh, we're going to be developing some exercises here in the video conference. Uh, for instance, we're going to be working on, on speaking. Uh, we're going to be working on writing. Maybe you are going to be developing some activities that are not in the platform, but is part of the course. And this is so important because the exercises that we're going to be developing in the video conference are no great, okay? That means it doesn't have any uh, point or score uh, and, and do not affect the final score on the platform, okay? Because these activities are intended to be working on the four macro skills and, and be developing all those skills. That's not mean that we are not going to participate. That's mean that we are going to take all these exercises in order to practice, in order to improve our English as part of the exercises that, that we have on the platform, okay? So, but these exercises, we, um, we are not going to take uh, into account in the final uh, in the final score. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear what I'm saying? Hello, can you hear me? Can you listen to me? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. It's clear, okay, very good. Yes, it's clear, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. So, um, well, later on, you are going to uh, you are going to to go to the discussion part. Okay, in this part, in the discussion part, we are going to find like different levels, um, and there we are going to be working in in the activities that are at the end of the videos. For instance. If we go to the course, if we join section number one, there we are going to uh, see, for instance, in the video number one. And the first one, it says conversation, where are you from? This is the first topic that we're going to, to be developing. Maybe the next class, or that's me tomorrow, because uh, I think we do not have enough time to develop it uh, tonight. But um, in each of the videos here, we're going to find something that is called discussion, okay? In that part, we're going to add always a post after we watch the video. Sometimes we're going to find exercises or questions at the end of the videos. So in this space, uh, in, the, in this discussion part, we are going to answer those questions or answer those activities that we are going to find at the end of the video. Please, I will be checking this information later and I will be giving you a feedback uh, of this topic. Okay? Uh, in this case, in each of the topics that we're going to be de developing after we watch a video. Do you have any questions? Yes, no, everything is clear. If everything is clear, just thumbs up. Thumbs up, uh, you can use the icon uh, that you have on, some, on Zoom, sorry. Thumbs up, is it clear? Yes, no, yes? Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good. Very good. 
Okay, excellent. So um, you're going to have uh, homework, okay? So if you want, you can take notes on, on your notebook or in a piece of paper on your computer or on your cell phone. It doesn't matter, okay? You can uh, do it in, in whatever place you want. Okay. Um, the homework that you are going to do for tomorrow's uh, class uh, is you are going to look for in conversation um, using the verb to be. Okay, uh, you are going to find a conversation where we are going to be using the verb to be. Do you know what is the verb to be? Right? For instance, um, I'm going to give you some examples of, of what kind of conversation um, I want. For instance, you can say like, hi, hello, uh, good morning, good evening, uh, nice to meet you. And we can start with the question, what is your name, okay? Uh, what is your uh, age? And what is, uh, well, your favorite color? Or what is, uh, for instance, your favorite uh, hobby? Things like that, using the verb to be in questions. Um, so we have a question here as an example of this. Uh, where are you from? And some others that we can find here in this conversation. Uh, like, uh, what's your name? Things like that. So uh, we can use it. Yeah, and we can take as an example this conversation here. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, so do you have any question uh, before leaving the, the video conference? Yes, no? Okay, if you don't have any question, uh, what we are going to do is uh, to finish the video conference. And let me tell you guys that I have good expectations for this group. And uh, what I see here in this group is that you have a good level of English. You can understand what I say. You also speak English and you are not afraid to uh, speak English too. And, and that's good uh, because we're going to create a good environment here uh, in, order for, in order to be practicing English. I will be creating some groups in, in Zoom later in order to be discussing or practicing or speaking skills later. Um, also, I, I forgot to say this at, at the beginning. Um, we have a WhatsApp group and also we have like uh, some details that I think Mr. Uh, Jimmy, okay, the, the, the director of uh, English Corporativo, in, in, in this case, in, in the area of in, in, in English. So he sent some uh, detailed information to your emails. You are going to find there the codes for a uh, join in the, the platform, to send in the platform. Uh, also, you are going to find the link for joining the WhatsApp group. And also you are going to uh, find there uh, the link for joining Zoom um, and also the schedule and some other details that are for you. Um, in the case of the WhatsApp group, I, I will ask you to do not pause means. Why? Because we're going to use the WhatsApp group to, uh, oh, well, for educational purposes. If you want to share something, it must be educative. You can share like vocabulary, you can share like images eh, that have uh, a specific purpose eh, for the subjects. Yeah. 
for learning something that we don't know, uh, for sharing some interesting facts about English uh, that maybe we don't know and, and you want to share to us and, and maybe some maybe some of, of the members of the world know what does it mean or or in some others uh, do not know and they are going to learn things like that guys you you can do it in that way i'm not uh, telling you hey guys do not post on whatsapp group no i'm not doing that uh, what i want you is to share information that can be relevant for you and for uh, your learning process okay so uh, and also if you have any question please let me know using the whatsapp group because in that way i will be answering as soon as possible if you send me a message privately uh, it will take me uh, more time to answer because i'm no like a uh, so focus on on on, on private message uh, and i focus just more in the whatsapp group to answer uh, questions because in that way maybe the questions that you are asking someone else uh, have the same questions in, in, in that way and answering uh, both okay uh, in, in that person will notice the information too so for that reason i ask you to make questions using the whatsapp group okay is it clear is everything clear more or less teacher more or less no. Okay, <laughs> more or less. Okay, but later we are going to be checking more information, sir, Mister Mister Merino. We are going to be working uh, later on the platform, and and also we are going to be like sharing uh, more information of the course in, in some other activities and and oh, also I forgot. If you want me to explain something in Spanish, I can do it. Okay. So you, you had just to ask me, hey, teacher, explain me this in Spanish because I didn't understand anything. So, and I will explain in you in Spanish. So do not worry if you, if you um, ask me that because I, I'm able to explain uh, in both languages, okay? Okay, teacher, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, very good. So I will see you tomorrow uh, at nine o'clock. So be, point, be, be, be on time because if one of you is in the video conference, I will start uh, with a topic, okay? Because um, the, the thing here is uh, we need to, um, oh, well, we have a schedule that we uh, need to, uh, complete and that's mean from 9 to 10 p.m. Okay, so see you tomorrow and blessings for all of you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Voy a dejar la cama, mami, para que te traiga el gordo. <risa>